Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In our previous video, we discussed how to split tape drives across drive pools and also discussed tape drive properties. In this video, we will discuss other tape drive options and functions. Please like, share, comment or suggest, subscribe for more videos and you can follow us on Instagram. Let's start with tape drive shortcut menu options. Right click on the tape drive. First option validate drive. Validate drive window general tab. From media agent select the media agent from the list that must be used to perform the validation. Select the drive pool from the list that must be used to perform the validation. Under media, select the media from the list that must be used to perform the validation. All the media available in the library are listed except aged media. Media site, if available, displays the selected media site. Volume size in a kilobyte. Select the media block size from the list that must be used by the validation operation to write data on the media. Chunk size in gigabytes. Specify the chunk size that must be used by the validation operation to create a block. Please note the media agent create different physical data blocks for organizing backup data on the media. Chunk size specifies the maximum amount of data in these data blocks. Now amount to write. Write chunks till end of media. Specifies the validation operation must write chunks to the end of the volume. Write specific number of chunks. Specify the number of chunks that the validation operation must write during validation. Do note, for virtual tape libraries, instead of using the validate drive option, use the tape tool GUI to run performance related tests. The drive validation process ensures the drive is functioning properly by mounting your media, writing on the media, rewinding and seeking data and then reading back from the media. So, it is recommended that a drive validation operation is performed after configuring the tape storage and before performing a backup operation. You can check the throughput of the drive. You can verify whether different tape lock size is supported by the hardware and operating system by performing a drive validation operation. Drive validation completed successfully. On the validate storage window, we see the achieved read and write throughput for a data size of one gigabyte. Let's review the other options. Right click on the drive. Mark drive replaced. Sometimes drives must be replaced either as a result of extended use or because of hardware failure. After you have successfully replaced a drive, you must reset all the counters that keep track of the number of drive events and this can be done using this option. On the confirm pop-up window, select yes to reset the hardware counters for the drive. We discussed the counters in our previous video. Let's go ahead with the next option. Next option, mark drive cleaned. When you clean the drive manually using the menu op options in the library panel, instead of using the clean drive options from the console console, then use this option to mark a drive as cleaned. On the confirm pop-up window, select yes to reset the cleaning counters for the drive. Next option, mark drive fixed. If the mark library or drive broken when error thresholds exceed 
option is enabled in the drive tab of the library properties the status of the drive is marked as offline when the number of hardware errors exceeds the preset threshold values established for the drive when you check the offline reason it indicates that a threshold was exceeded in such a situation it is essential to identify and correct the related problem once the problem is fixed use this option to remove the broken status and bring the drive online on the confirm pop-up window select yes to mark the drive as fixed and reset the counters up next is clean drive using this option we can clean a drive immediately clean drive window general tab under description type a reason for performing drive cleaning ideally it is recommended to clean each drive periodically or when necessary to remove the oxides that accumulate on the read write heads job initiation tab you can either run the clean drive job immediately or schedule it for a later date or time we do not have a cleaning media in the library so we can't run the job to show what happens normally the drive cleaning operation includes the task of mounting the cleaning media into the drive cleaning the read write head and unmounting the cleaning media the cleaning media will be unmounted after the amount of time specified in the clean duration operation this is available in drive cleaning threshold parameters tab uh, in hardware maintenance thresholds which is in control panel the next option to discuss is reset drive be certain that the drive that you want to reset is not in use if the drive is active or reserved or in use an error message will be displayed on the confirm reset window if you are sure that you want to reset the drive click yes the re reset drive option unmounts the media mounted in the drive which may take some time thereby making the drive ready for use the reset drive operation will reset the drive status up next is unload drive make sure that no jobs are running to the drive that you want to unload and that the drive contains media if the drive is active or in use an error message will be displayed in the confirm window if you are sure that you want to unload the drive click yes occasionally hardware errors may cause a media mount failure making a loaded media inaccessible when this happens the affected media must be removed from the drive using this option this option can also be used to unload media when you need to free up the drive immediately for some other use the last option to discuss is show throughput this option helps you to calculate and display the drive's read and write throughput show drive throughput window show throughput for last x hours you can select the number of hours for which the throughput information will be calculated then click show read throughput displays the average throughput for read operations in the specified time that is one hour write throughput displays average throughput for write operations in the specified time again it is one hour so using this window we calculate and view the drive throughput for a specified number of hours but if you want to view a drive's throughput for the previous hour we can get the info from the hardware info tab of the drive properties window apart from this way Finally, add to favorites is to add the drive to my favorites for quick access. We have already covered properties in our previous video. If you see a media showing 
stuck or reservation stuck on a drive or displaying unloading media for a very long time then try these actions in the same order do not change them first mark drive fixed then mark drive replaced optional is mark drive cleaned and lastly reset drive these steps should fix the reservation or media stuck issues. For virtual tape library VTLs, as you cannot deal them as a physical drive, using these options help fix most of the drive issues. Um, if you do not see a media agent name displayed here, that means the drive is not having an handler and resetting the drive will sort it. Just to let you know, the drive display order seen here is as per Comvault and not as seen at the OS level. So while troubleshooting a drive issue, do not expect the tape drive is in the same order as on the OS level. Finally, these LTO4 tape drive supports N-2 version lower cartridges that is LTO3 and LTO2 tapes for backup and recovery activities. We will end this video here. In our next video, we will cover media by location and media by groups. Do subscribe to our channel if not already done so. Thank you. Do subscribe for more videos.